the YouTube. Me and him are late. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know I should have had this video up by Friday. But the um, four and a half hours that I recorded for this paint job, I had a lot of trouble condensing it down into a usable video. It was, um, I am having trouble with editing on the phone to get it to where it was workable. But, um, so I basically got rid of it. I didn't like it. So I sort of trashed it. So I figured I would just do a quick video to show you guys the finished figure, which is that. This is how I painted the Chaos Demon Lord, or whatever you call it, the sort of primarchy sized um, leader. <laughs> Specialty guy, head honcho, that sort of thing. So what I did was, um, me and my brother-in-law, Rich, um, on New Year's, played Mad Scientist and made up some um, reducer. And then that reducer I took and um, made up primers to paint this miniature with. I made a... Um, black primer from um, Apple Barrel, Craft Paint. I made a black primer. That was his base. Took the reducer and made a gray primer, and that was the Zenithel part from the top down. I took and made a white primer. All these is out of Apple Barrel. And uh, used it as a dry brush to highlight from top down. You're using brush strokes from top to bottom, and uh, so that everything come out light to dark. So I got dark shadows underneath, light up on top. And that was the first stage. I think I've actually got a picture of it in that stage, which I'll post in the video. And the paints I used was, um, started out with a Reaper Blood Orange, or Blood Red, and did a base over. Then did a um, um, Games Workshop uh, wash with um, Athrax or Shape because it's got a sort of a red tint to it. But then over, went through and did a um, um, antique gold um, apple barrel over the gold. Then I went through with uh, Badger. Um, tint, blood, blood, blood tint, over top of the whole armor, to give it this sort of a gloss, bloody look. Then I went through with the uh, uh, the uh, Ralph Partha gold that I've got. That's I don't know, God from the eighties, and um, to do the uh, gold. Um, from there, I went on to. Um, the cloak, which is sort of a to be a sort of a flesh, get the rose bloody cloak, which is just the um, um, started out with the gold, highlighted down to white, washed it in with some red, then highlighted the red over to tan flesh tone to get it to look like that. And the claw and the sword are highlighted with the uh, Engineer Jeff um, fluorescent green, which is also the like the shoulder and the belt buckle. That's the fluorescent colors. So that was the paints that was used, and I also I um, sealed it with a uh, um, matte sealer that I made from the. Uh, um, reducer that me and my brother walked in. So, there he is. It turned out pretty good. There's a few things I don't like. Which leads me to my next the end of this week's modification. That modification will be this head. I mean, 
The thing is way too small for this armor. So it's got to go. I don't like it. So the head's coming off. I want to do something special with the sword to make it stand out more. Maybe give it a flame or a smoke effect going up it to make it stand out a little bit better. So that would be another mod. And these shoulders are too abaddon. They just don't look... I mean, they're great for abaddon, but they aren't good for what I want. So I want to mod those, those chaos symbols off. Maybe give it a corn symbol, something like that. But that'll be modded too. So my challenge will be to mod a painted figure, which I don't really do. I always use a base figure, then mod to it. But that will be my challenge. Would be mod a painted figure without completely blowing it up. So that's my challenge for this week. And uh, if you guys like, follow along the challenge. I've got um, a. Uh, Facebook page is VanHammer73 on Facebook and I've also got a Discord which I believe is also VanHammer Discord um, if you would like to follow along on the challenge compete, you know, have a little group thing going I'm going to open up either Facebook or um, Discord whichever you guys want to do just put it down in the comments which would you rather do if you want to and if you want to be part and we'll post them on there and we'll just get a little thing going of the following the challenges if you uh, make a video from say you got a channel you want to make a video send me a link and we'll put it in either discord or facebook so we can follow it through there um however you guys want to do it just like i say leave me a comment see what you think and um let's see also something oh I know Jeff is still sort of working on his, I believe, or has finished it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't talked to him about it for the last day or so. So he might be done by now, um, but looking for a video from him. So it's up to, you know, he, when he's ready, he's, he'll put one up. So that's good. But uh, my challenge for everybody is do something to a miniature that you haven't normally done. Uh, give him a fancy base. Um, you know, do a miniature that you don't normally do. If you normally do fantasy miniatures, do a sci-fi miniature. Something along those. Something you don't normally do to a fi with figures. That's your challenge. And my challenge will be to modify a painted one. And this is the paint modified one. So guys, thanks for watching. This is a little bit long. Might put a little quick spin of this guy. But you guys got the same pretty good here. He turned out okay. We'll see him again. I'll do a spin of him once I do the modifications. Where I'm more happy with him. Right now, this is what we got. So we'll do this. And there we go. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. And um, if you're an old guy to the channel, leave a comment and a like. Thumbs up always help. And Rich, thanks. Worked really good. Worked. Thank you. He 3D printed this, by the way, on his his printer. And oops, ooh, good catch. Uh, he's the one that got me doing 3D printing. Uh, I had always wanted to, and he's bought the first printers and sort of uh, gave me inspiration to go buy mine. And uh, he's got a lot nicer ones and better than me, more than me. But uh, get, he's got me. He got me started. So blame Rich. It's his fault. Thanks, brother-in-law. Appreciate it, guy. Bye-bye.